be free. Hey, how's it going? Hello. You, uh, good. How are you? You try calling Dan? Uh, I talked to him maybe an hour ago or something. He said he should be available tonight. So, so. you know how to connect him on this call? Yeah. Click the top right he... button. Where it says add. Can you see that top right icon that says add? There you go. Perfect. Yeah. Wonderful. Mira, I'm going to give this to you. You got me? Yeah. I hope he picks up. Yeah, I hope so Even when I spoke to him two days ago, right? That we had scheduled this time. There he is. Hey, how's it going, gay? Dude, I love this. I, 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 I cannot believe... Uh, uh, that yet again we're on this this call. This is where the journey started. You know what I mean? Way back when. This is, this is where the this is where the magic happens. Dan, I've got to tell you, again, I'm grateful to you. I love you, brother. I'm a huge fan. You know this. I was I I, I fell for you guys and you especially. You know this when I first met you. You, you, you know what I'm saying? With that oh, with that man, whole. I'm grateful for you too. We're making a lot of really awesome garments here. You know really that your intense. brother is a sweetheart. He tunes into my my lives night after night after night after night after night. My He's... brother is a sweetheart. Yeah, I absolutely. Am, I'm very lucky. Which one of you is older? <laughs> older and wiser is that one. <laughs> <laughs> right, so where were you guys born? Which city? In New York? Atlanta. Okay, Georgia. so hence you're a huge Hawks fan. Hence my love so, of the so, Hawks. So basically... And I mean this because of your tweets, right? I am, I've jumped on the Hawks bandwagon for you, my brother. Yes. So I hope they come out of this hole, all right? And, yes. and I will be cheering for the Hawks. I will say this to my son now when I see him later today. Yeah. I'm like, we are going for the Hawks now, and it's all about Daniel Platzman, and I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. now a Hawks fan. Show the good team. Also. Show the good team to root for. Great stuff. So I know the Hawks from way back when because of, what was his name? Dion, was it? Dominique. Dominique. Dom yeah, you guys Dominique. knew who I was fucking talking about straight away. Yeah, so that's Dominique. the Hawks that I, that I remember, Dominique. Well, he's, and He's probably the greatest Hawk of all time. Yeah, and, and, and his dunks and, uh, yeah, so, so, you know, that's when I grew up, right? I'm born in the 70s, right? So, you know what I mean? Grew up watching basketball uh, in a little bit in the 80s, but predominantly in the 90s, you know what I mean? And I was never a Michael Jordan fan. So it was always whoever played against the Bulls, I would yeah. go for, you know what I mean? Uh, whether they... Uh, they meet the Pistons or the Hawks or, or eventually the Lakers on the other side, whatever it was. I was never, uh, never an MJ fan. Don't know why, I just wasn't uh, and stuff. But yeah, Dominique Wilkins, uh, what an awesome athlete. What an awesome basketball what a player. Talent. So you're back now in Vegas. Back in Vegas. Richie, what gave you this idea for Dan? Uh, I was watching documentary on the sappers in the Congo. Okay. And I just saw this outfit and I thought it was cool. I just thought I, I wouldn't wear it anywhere except to go hang out with my brother in his house. So I was like, but I would wear it. When he showed yeah. me, I was like, yes. <laughs> so you've seen the brief, Dan, right? And you're cool with it? Yeah. Okay, great stuff. Oh, I, love, I love it. Uh, we even talked a little about double breasted, which sounds great. It's going to be awesome. Now, before I get started, have you put on any weight or lost weight, or is the size of the last suit that I made you find? You guys just wore it about four weeks ago. I think I put on probably about five pounds. Yeah. Okay, but then I'm, I'm so to take it off. what? Okay, then so I stick to the same cut, or give you a little bit more room? Uh, give me one extra inch of waist. <laughs> so just the belly then. Just, just belly. Just you sure a whole inch? You sure a whole inch? No, I'm not. You know, we can go half an inch. Let's do three quarters. Just me. Just the belly. Just the belly. Just me. Just the belly. And the pants are okay, or you need more room in the pants? Oh, the pants are good. Okay. I like what is that? A Bengal cat? That's my Bengal. Yeah. Awesome. Phenomenal. All right. Well, tell him to hold his horses for five minutes. Okay. Calm down. So I'm going to flip the camera around. Okay. Hand the camera to somebody so I can talk you through this. Okay. I'm, 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 you've got my full attention. Great stuff. Hang on a second. Okay, hopefully you can both see me. Yep, yep. Okay, so this is the brief. Okay, so it will yes. be a red double-breasted jacket. I'll talk about the style afterwards. And 
we will have uh, patch pockets in tartan, okay? Elbow patches in tartan, and two right. trousers, an off-white trouser and a tartan trouser, okay? Yeah. So let me go ahead and stick this up here. In the meantime, and we'll talk style in a second. Let's talk about fabric first. As soon as I saw the brief and I, and I, and I, and I forwarded uh, Richie's image to the team, they started pulling out shit. I'm like, you don't need to pull out shit. I know exactly the fabric that I want. It's gonna be this Telestrona, which is absolutely magical fabric. There, there, there's no point in me even sending you shit to do your due diligence. This one you need to vest in me, okay? This is the best fucking fabric for this project, all right? The best red there is in, in my 20 years, 22 years on the job, this is the best red there is, okay? It's vibrant, it doesn't wrinkle, it's just superb. And then I had two off-white options for you that my team asked me about. And there's the flatter weave, and there's a slightly more textured weave. There's marginal difference between the two. I would prefer to go with the more whiter textured weave than the slightly more creamier, flatter weave. What is your opinion? There's nothing in it, you know what I mean? This is more British, this is more yeah. modern. No, I'm into it. What do you think, I, uh, Richie? A little bit of a woven I, texture? I, yeah, I would say probably texture is good. I mean, with all the tartan and the buttons and everything, it's not gonna detract. No, not at all. Otherwise, I wouldn't even present yeah. it. So I think, yeah, so you can, I think we'll go with this white here and the, the obvious red choice, okay? Okay, so I have real tartan, okay? That's used for suiting. It's pure wool tartan, all English. Okay. Okay, every tartan in the, in, in, in the damn tartan family. You know what I mean? My bench is deep, absolute deep bench, okay? I come up with everything, yes. always. And that's the match. It is. I actually went. I went back to the original video and checked it against what you sent me. And yeah. It so we nailed everything first time up. Didn't even send. You, we didn't pad shit for you. You know what I mean? We just monstered at home. Okay. So you're gonna get a trouser in this and the patchwork in this. Okay. Cool. It sounds great. So then Richie said an anchor button. Because you have an anchor tattoo. Okay, so let's just like look it. at the buttons together, okay? Okay. So in full gold, like the photo, this is the anchor that I have. Half gold, wow. half blue, this is the anchor. Predominant wow. blue with a touch of gold, this is the anchor. So let's go through those three. One, yes. two. And those all look, hey Roshan, those, those all look amazing. Um, and I'm, I'm open to doing gold, but I know Richie also mentioned that he thought brass might look good. And I'm curious, do you have any brass options? I do have brass options. Let's switch to the bronze, okay? And, Ooh, okay. All right, so there's, pu there's, there's pewter up here. Way, I, I, did like, I did like those gold uh, anchors too. I'm not, but I'm we're not gonna look at all that. of this stuff. So there's no rush here. Yeah. This is your time. Cool. Here's a bronze anchor. Nice. Okay, here's a bronze anchor. Okay, so those are the two, those are the two bronze cool. specific anchors that I have in bronze. Nice. Do you like the bronze look, or do you want more pop with the gold? I think um, I think I prefer the pop of the gold, even though the bronze does, especially that second bronze anchor is very cool. But I think I prefer the uh, the shade of the. So do we go yeah, full the gold pops full so gold? Yes, there's a there's a poppage. Half gold and half blue, or touch of gold and predominant blue? I thought the half and half looked uh, pretty sharp. Richie, what do you think? Yeah. Uh, I mean, in the picture, it was closer to a full gold. In the picture, it's full gold. So it's between right. these two then, right? Yeah, my question is the blue on the half gold, half blue. How does it look compared to the blue in the tart? I think it's going to go amazing. Cut him off. Sorry, guys, sorry. I think this is the oh, one. No. I'm with you. Richie, what do you think? I mean, I think I would pick full gold, but it's, it's the one that's going to wear it, so that's up to you. Well, this no, is I your vision, Richie. Probably. Yeah, I think, I think full gold, just because I, 
I don't want anything to detract from the tartan that's going to be the pop of color, you know? Okay, I'm going to disagree with you, Rich, okay? I'm definitely going to tell you that this, this blue and gold is the way to go. <laughs> okay? So, but, Richie, you're still okay. going to make that decision. This is your decision. Uh, I mean, I think the blue, and, the blue and gold looks great, too. Um, I'm just trying to imagine all six of the buttons on the front of it. Um, I mean, I'm sure it'll look great, yeah. No, but let's look at the photo now. So what are we thinking? Now you can see it here. I mean, we're all grown men, okay? <laughs> and it's gonna, not gonna look bad, okay? But we gotta make a decision, and the decision has to come yeah. from you guys, okay? No, and no, no. I, I want think, excitement I think, always. Uh, I think you're right, Roshan. I think let's go with the half and half. Okay, so Rich, you're cool with that? I love it, yeah. Great, sure. we all love it. That's the, that's the main thing. Okay, excellent. We love to see it. Well, now excellent. we're gonna have something that's even cooler than the photo, right? Yeah, yeah that's, that's the whole point, right? right? That's what we do. So the jacket is red, okay? Yes. Let's get the tartan out of the way, okay? The tartan will be here, and it will be on the elbow, okay? What I want to know about the patch pockets, uh, and this is where you've got to imagine a bit, Dan, uh, I'm with, okay. is do you want traditional size patch pockets that Richie wears, which are quite large, okay, large by modern standards, or would you like slightly smaller patch pockets like I've got? Mm. And the patch pockets are gonna have the tartan? The, uh, the patch pockets are gonna be the tartan. Uh, I think let's do big. Let's keep them big, okay, great. So it'll be if, it, I, I can only see three buttons here on the cuff. I would still, so we'll go with the three button cuff. They'll all be functional, okay? Are we good with that? Yes. Let's do the third button in just the gold. Or let's do a four button cuff, hear me out. Let's do a four button cuff and allow Dan to wear one button open, which is gold and it disappears and to have three buttons with the gold, blue, gold, blue, and gold. At least we get both of them then. What do you think? I think that's a very cool idea. Richie, you good? I am totally good, yeah. Excellent. So we're going to go with a four button cuff. They won't be overlapping because we don't want to hide any of the details on the buttons. So they'll be lined up and we'll go gold, blue, gold, blue, gold, open, gold. Great? Love it, Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Very cool. Very cool. So we will do a wide peak lapel, just like the photo. I recommend a Barquetta breast pocket, even though I'm pretty sure that's classic, okay? It'll be six buttons with two banks uh, of buttons down here, two closing buttons. Dan can have one open and cut away, uh, and we'll look at how that looks later on and stuff. Well, should we do a rope shoulder? I think that will be more enigmatic. Or a classic shoulder? Uh, I mean, I think a rope shoulder would be great. I think we do a rope shoulder, Dan, where you have a bit of pop on the edges. I like it. Okay, and then we'll give Dan some room so that he can perform, he can sit, he can drum at ease by giving him the classic double vents. Cool. You both know and, that... Um, I, I might be jumping ahead, but um, are you thinking a half liner? What are you thinking for lining? So, if you're going to be using this on stage, then I would go with a half lining so that at least you can breathe in the back of it. Yep. Okay? Whereas when you're showing it off, when you're showing it off, you'll be able to show it off like this and no one will see the, 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 the lining missing in the back or omitted in the back. However, even if they do, the detailing is beautiful, right? I mean, a half lining detailing is gorgeous. So let's go with the half lining. Cool. Excellent. So, um, I don't have much more to ask you about the jacket. There's a lot going on already, so I'm not going to try to overcook it by adding cuffs, especially on a double-breasted jacket and stuff. I'm pretty good with the way we stand now. I'll give you a real buttonhole, but with no additional color. We don't, we've got the, we've got the patches <laughs> and the patches and the buttons and the red. So I think we're golden. 
No problem at all. Leave the ties to me. I'm I'm getting a very uh, uh, a Beatles vibe from this now. You follow what I'm saying? So the ties you yeah. want bow ties or neck ties? Um, I was thinking neck tie, but I'm open to it. I've done a bow tie before. Can you tie one yourself, or do you need it hooked? I, I could at one point. I can learn again. <laughs> you sure? Or should I just give you the ones that are done, and then you hook it at the back? Oh, I mean, I'm not above that. That's also fine. Okay, so I I, I think bow ties are best. A one. Yeah, I think bow ties are best with this look, Dan. Cool. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I, I hear you. I'll surprise you with the bow ties. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, any other questions about the jacket? Okay, great stuff. Um, Go ahead, Richie. Yeah, no questions. Yes. No, no questions. I just have one more idea. Yeah. I just want to workshop it. Let's do it. We could also do the plaid just on the back of the jacket collar, not on the front, but just that last bit of fabric. Do you think that would be too much, or do you think it would be... I was thinking answer. of doing the plaid underneath the collar. Okay? Okay. The tartan, so that Dan can, anytime he wants, he can turn up the collar and show off the tartan. Oh, there you go, Ben. Okay. That's Sound good? Perfect. What did you ask me? Yeah. No, I just said that. And yeah. And for the lining, Dan, I thought I'd surprise you at the last minute. I don't know if Richie's discussed it with you, but we want to do something that's syn synonymous with Sam Taylor, where everyone globally knows that this is our lining. It's got the red, it's got the blue, it's got the, it's got the 40 licks uh, from the stones. What do you think? It, it, it sounds iconic. I'm in. You good with this, right, Richie? I'm good. Totally. I, I love it. Excellent. So so we will do the tartan underneath the collar to keep in theme. Great. The two pants, you're getting one of the off-white pants and one of the, the tartan pants. Belt loops or buckles? Hmm. Uh, probably belt loops. Okay. So, I mean, I always go with buckles because then I don't have to worry about matching shoes. I always go with with buckles so then I can wear any color shoe. You get what I'm saying? But it's all about you, Dan, and how you want to accessorize. Let's go buckles then. Let's okay, go. so we go buckles. Strong argument for buckles. And then we're not going to do cuffs on the pants. I think there's enough going on. What do you think, Richie? Uh, I, would, I don't think we need cuffs. I don't think uh, we need cuffs either. We, we, you know, we want the white to be clean and then the tartan's got so much going on. Great stuff. We're going to accent up Daniel's trousers mm -hmm. and give him a taste of what we give to Ricky. Okay. okay? Dan, that, that'll be a little surprise for you, right? Hey, uh, hey, uh. Richie, you good? I'm, I'm totally good. Okay. So I'm going to get to work on this stuff. You guys all right? Are you very excited? I'll be back in a couple of weeks in this format with the two of you to present. You got it. Love you guys. Great Talk job. to you both soon. Thank you so much. Yo, I appreciate you. Anytime, I appreciate you, all right? Go Hawks, all right? I'll be watching. Take care, brother. Bye-bye. Okay. So, uh, you guys always ask about who, which celebrities that I work with and so forth, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So that was one of them uh, that I've been working with for a number of years now. Do you guys know which celebrity that was? Um, you guys should. He's from your country where most of my viewers and most of my clients are from. And he's obviously a very uh, Hawks fan. You guys already, uh, you guys also always ask about uh, um, what crazy shit that I do. <laughs> <laughs> and what's my craziest project blah 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 blah. I think that was pretty crazy uh, and stuff uh, with, 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 with just all the tartan that's going on so I really hope that uh, you guys will tune in in a couple of weeks time and see the, pres the, the finished project you know I mean like I'm very grateful to my regular viewers uh, but I always encourage you guys to, to, to always tune in because you know, some of the days they're just epic. And so far, I think today's been pretty epic. It was such a thorough first consultation and such an enigmatic uh, second consultation. Okay, so I'm going to save this video instead and then I will come right back at you with the next call at TikTok. As always, I will stay with you, okay? Come back and join me.